All right, hello and welcome to another video, guys. Hi, I'd like to welcome you to this brief video that I made. Hello, and welcome to this video where today we're going to be talking about the uh, benefits of attending events versus lead generation. So, yeah, for any of you advisors, agents, brokers uh, who are kind of doing, you know, event attending or event setups or booths or anything like that to kind of generate a lot of your clients right now or just generate business in general, um, I'm going to kind of break down a little bit of uh, where the advantages of that are and maybe where you can get a little bit more advantage out of lead generation, a little bit more bang for your buck, especially if you're sending people to go to these events. Um, I think this is really, really going to be extremely valuable for you. Uh, and I'm going to break down some things about lead generation that I don't think you really knew before uh, when it comes to just how cheap it is and, and things like that. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So attending events versus lead gen, right? So what are some of the advantages of events? Because obviously, you know, attending events is still an advantageous thing for a lot of agents, a lot of advisors, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. So number one, events are usually free or have a reasonable entry fee to be able to attend them, right? So let's say you're doing a local, you know, job fair or something like that. You come down you set up your booth. Maybe that wasn't the best example. I'm just trying to think. I haven't been to a lot of local events recently, to be completely honest. But, uh, you know, you come down to whatever event it might be. You set up your booth. You got like a $100 fee for the weekend to do that or whatever. Nothing too crazy. You do that. You talk to a whole bunch of people, hand out business cards, you know, give your pitch, give the spiel, all that good stuff, right? And you get a few clients out of that. Great. You know, if that's how that works for you, then 100%, that's, that's what a lot of people are doing. And they're uh, they're having, they're having, you know, success with it. Now with that said, it also still is a great way to network, meet new people and even gain clients. Right. So obviously a lot of people are at these events. That's why they hold them. The whole point of holding an event isn't to, you know, hold a bunch of stands over that nobody comes to visit. It's for everyone to actually come through and, uh, see the event. So yeah, it's a great place to still network, meet people. And if you're good enough with it and you know how to talk to people, uh, over the long game, you can kind of gain clients. Um, it also can be a great way to expand your local influence and presence and also establish yourself as an authority figure over time, right? So if you're kind of maybe a little bit newer, or even if you're not newer in the industry in your area, it's a great pe way to let people know, hey, this is who I am. You know, they come to the event, they take their kids down there, whatever, they see your thing, they got your business card and, you know, three, four, five months down the line, all of a sudden they need your services and they remember you. You're the authority figure. You're the person who's giving them information on this subject that they didn't know anything about. You become that authority figure and uh, they end up buying from you. So yeah, it can be a great way to expand that local influence and presence, uh, especially over time, but it's, gonna, it's going to take time and it's going to be the long game that you're playing with that. So why are events then a, a little bit of a drag, right? I think the time cost ratio may not be worth it for a lot of advisors or agents. Let me kind of break that down. So what I mean by that is the time actually spent compared to the opportunity cost of being there, right? Um, if you're an advisor who's already earning a lot, you already have a lot of clients. I know a lot of people really just enjoy going to events. They do it. But I know a lot of people, like as soon as they have a lot of clients, you don't really see them at the events uh, too, too often simply because they don't want to be there or you'll see them pop in for the day, but they mostly have other people kind of running their tent or running their, uh, booth for them. Right. Like they don't like being there because it's, it's, they have other better things to do. Right. So it is what it is. Um, there's just a lot of different ways you can be spending that time doing other things and, and even generating, you know, new clients. Like I guarantee if you were to spend it, you know, the same amount of time cold calling people that you were standing at your booth doing your thing, you probably generate more clients. That would be my guess. Um, so there's that. Uh, it's also a lot of work that most people dread rather than enjoy, right? So 
Some people really like events. If that's you, then great. But I know a lot of people really don't like them at all. A lot of people don't like going early to set up their booth. A lot of people don't like the constant conversations, the just being peppered with questions and the repetitive nature of answering everything over and over, doing the same pitch to everyone over and over and over again, right? So that's why I said you see a lot of people who once they kind of make it or whatever, they don't go to events. Now, there's some guys who've built their entire business and their t- entire thing off of being at these events, and, and some of them do go there. But a lot of guys who get the opportunity to not attend them uh, would definitely choose not to, So they and they don't. Um, so that's why. It's, it's a lot of work, and it's it's not really necessarily the most fun time in the world to run a booth or to actually be there. So there's that, and then – the other really key thing for me is there's not really a practical way to scale your event presence, right? So, I mean, you can hire a whole bunch of people to go all around the area into different cities and set up booths and set up events for you, but that becomes a very big logistical nightmare. A lot of time, it becomes a really huge project. I'm not saying it can't work. I just think there's better ways to do things. And I don't think compared to lead generation, I really don't think that that's a practical alternative or a practical option to even do that in the first place, right? So with that being said, what is the alternative that I actually recommend for advisors, brokers, and agents? Okay, I recommend doing lead generation, specifically online lead generation. And here's why, right? So number one, you can reach far more people far more quickly at a very reasonable price, right? So let's say in a a weekend at an event, you'll talk to... 500 people. I mean, that's, that's a lot of people, but let's say you talk to 500 people, right? I mean, I can pay Facebook like a few dollars, like three to $5. And that's even ex- on the expensive side to reach 500 people. Like that's, that's very, very expensive. So it's like, um, or sorry, very, very cheap. It's very, very inexpensive to be able to do that. So it's like, you know, you can get a whole weekend's worth of work done with just a few dollars. So why, like, is it, is your, do you really think your entire weekend is worth like three to $5 to you? Something to really think about, right? So if you're doing events right now, and this is something that you're kind of doing, like, I know, you know, you may not have a whole lot of money, but even if let's just say $1 will reach a hundred people and that's, that's, that's pretty bad, but just for easy math, if that's the case, and you figure you can reach a thousand people in a week at an event, why not just reach them online? They're there anyway. Plus, you can scale instantly. You know how I was talking about there's no practical way to scale your event presence? There's a very practical way to scale your online presence. You can do it with a click of a button. You just spend a little bit more money, right? So, um, you know, you have to have the money to be able to do that. But once you have a system that's kind of self-sustaining where you're able to pour more money into it because you're getting more clients, easy easy to scale this. It's incredibly easy to scale this. And like I said, you can reach far more people and you can reach them instantaneously. That's the other difference is you can reach those 500 people, like literally within a, you can, you can set it up to be a 12 hour campaign and reach them all within 12 hours. You know, as soon as they get on their phones, they see your ad, you're done. And you don't have to be there to do it. You just need to record a video. That's what we recommend doing. And then it'll be sent out and uh, those 500 people will see it. So Way, way, way less work and way less time actually put into that than going to the event. Lead generation through social media is also the best way to connect with people in 2022, right? You can connect with the people who you want to uh, and who want you. Um, and you get the most exclusive exclusivity out of these people without the excess background noise. So I'll give you an example, right? You run a lead gen ad and uh, somebody sees you on social media. They fill out your lead form. That's a lead that's exclusive to you. They saw your content. They filled out your form. They didn't go to an event and see 40,000 other financial advisors, 40,000 different agents there and, uh, you know, get your business card along with everyone else and then shop around and call to see who was the cheapest, right? They saw you, they liked what they saw from you and they decided that they wanted to talk to you. There's none of this excess background noise, uh, none of this quick pitch, you know, BS or whatever, and and on the fly, whatever, you can record something really professional, really present yourself as professionally as possible, and then send it out to the world for people who are interested in it. And the people who are interested in it are going to find you. You don't have to go find them at an event. You don't have to go talk to everyone at an event. You just send out a video and it'll do all that for you, right? So I think that this is 
by far the best way to connect with people in this day and age, uh, especially just removing that background noise and kind of getting to the people who want you being able to use Facebook or Instagram or TikTok's targeting metrics to really hammer down on the people who actually want you and want your service. And they're going to find you because you're blasting your ad to their feed. So um, yeah, I think it's, it's way better and way easier than actually uh, going and attending a, an event um, to actually get not just the result you want of the volume of people you want to reach, but the impact that you want to make on them. I think the impact that you make on social media, uh, it's a different type of impact, but if it's done the right way, I think it can 100% be just as impactful, if not more imp- impactful than meeting them in person. If you can really hit somebody where, they're really, where they really are and give them, uh, give them something that they actually need on social media, right? Like this video right now, for a lot of you guys who are attending events uh, and you're looking to do something else, you want to scale your business, you don't know how, you seeing this through social media, on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever you're watching this right now, is probably just as impactful, if not more impactful than meeting me in person, right? Because it's, it's really getting to where you are right now, getting to that problem that you have and helping you come up with a solution to solve it. If you're able to do that for people online, you're going to find you, you're going to have a really big difference in the way that your business is run. Really big difference, um, especially because online, like I said, that's where everyone is right now. Oh, and we talked about expanding your local influence and presence, right? Everyone's on social media now. If you do social media campaigns and run lead gen campaigns to your local area, you're still going to establish yourself as an authority figure and a a local influence and a local presence because people are seeing you on social media. They are seeing you on their feeds. And the great thing about this is you can scale past your local area if you intend to scale. You're not limited to, you know, like you can only drive to events so far away, man. Like if you're in L.A., and you want to do an event in Houston, like that's a long trip. If you want to do it with an ad, you can do it with the click of a button and you can still get clients, get them on the phone and get closed. You can do that in the time that it would take you to actually fly from LA to Houston with an ad. From the whole time just to get to the event, you can have a client closed in that amount of time easily with lead generation, right? So I think the case is pretty clear, at least from my end, on why I think lead generation beats attending events, right? Um, You don't need an incredible amount of money to be able to start with lead gen, but you do need a little bit, right? So, you know, if you're, you don't have any clients right now, we've made videos on how you can get your first few clients and attending events is definitely something in the list. I think it's a great place to be for people who are just starting out. But I think once you're starting to get a little bit more serious about things and uh, uh, you want to really scale your business, uh, I think you need to maybe consider how much of a local presence you want to have online and how much of a local presence you want to have uh, doing this right here. So uh, here is our lead generating process. It's called the exclusive lead system. It's a done for you, multi-dimensional lead generating process. We generate leads on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Uh, We've done on a few different platforms, but that's where we're focusing really right now. It's where we're seeing the most results. Uh, We generate on three platforms. That way it's an anti-fragile system, right? So let's say Facebook goes down. We still have Instagram and TikTok ads to run. So we know that we're going to be getting leads through the door every single month. Uh, We also run remarketing and a whole bunch of other stuff. I won't get too far into that here. We have lead nurturing processes that are set up to capture more lead conversion, right? So it's not just the actual lead gen system through social media. It's the email campaigns in the back end that we send out to people, as well as the text campaigns, making sure that we actually get people booked on calls and appointments. In fact, we even offer a guarantee for appointments per month. It'll all depend on, uh, you know, the uh, exclusive lead system that you decide to get, but we do offer guarantees on that. And the system is set up so that you'll never have to do any cold outreach again. You'll never have to worry about, you know, attending events again. If you want to, you enjoy it, great, but you won't need to. You'll be able to rely on this system, right? This is the way that it's been set up, the way that it's been built. If you'd like to discuss the exclusive lead system a little bit more in detail, I encourage you to just drop a comment here or shoot me a DM over on Messenger or, or Facebook or wherever it kind of works best for you and kind of everywhere. So uh, yeah, I hope this video was helpful to those of you who are still attending events. Uh, maybe give a little bit of a paradigm shift, a, a bit of a perspective change on where you can go from here and where to go next. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video.